Hello Tinkerers, a special one this week as we look at the Avenger building. What's an iconic building from the Marvel films. So, how does it look? It looks like this, and we're going to focus on the base to start off with. Not the plinth, but just these bits at the bottom to start off with. So we're going to build this out. So we've basically got a couple of boxes with a part sticking out, and then I think that's an octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An octagonal prism sitting on top. So let's create that real quick. Let's grab a box. Let's bring that out. Let's make it nice and big. Let's say 50 by 100. There we go. So it's nice and big. If I can't get it perfect, just click on these numbers. And I can make it. Yeah, I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to shrink it down. Let's say a 10 each side. So I want to bring that down to 80. Here we go. And then let's bring that out. Use the arrow keys if I want. Then if it's got the right length and I can select them both, I can align them. There we go. And then select them and make them five high because they are the base of my building. Let's make that a nice dark color. Let's have a nice gray and let's group them together. Now I'm going to select them and duplicate. And then because that's five high, I'm going to bring this one up five. Here we go. And then I'm going to hold shift so it scales them all together and shrink that down and then I'm going to select them both and align them both just in the middle perfect all right let's get this octagonal prism so let's bring out my polygon and then it's six sides at the moment I can just select that and make it eight okay once I've got the octagonal prism I do need to rotate it 22.5 to get a nice flat edge facing forward and then just bring it into the center and basically get it as big as you want. It looks good in this center. There we go. Let's work on that. It's looking about right. And then I can select it all and I can align it in the middle. So everything's nice and aligned. And I have got my base. Make it the same color. And then I'm going to group all this together. And I'm going to put that out of the way. And I'm going to build the main part of my building. So how am I going to build the main part of my building? First off, I need to make the floor plan. So I'm going to use a box. I'm going to stretch this box out and make it 20 by 40. And then I'm going to get two circles. One circle I'm going to put on this end. One circle I'm going to put on this end. Can I line them all? If I align them all in that direction, then that's perfect. And then I just want to make sure that they are in the middle with rounded corners. I need to make sure that these are perfectly in half so I can get it right. Use my arrow keys if I need to adjust them and then select them all, group them all together. And there you go, I've got my base floor plan. So let's bring that. From that point, I'm going to put it across here because I'm going to use this several times. So I'm going to duplicate one, and this is going to be my base footprint. I'm going to bring this right up to 100, and that's going to be from there all the way from the bottom all the way up to let's call this the helicopter pad. So that's a helicopter pad, and then I'm going to basically cut out a smaller version of it and indent it. So, how's that going to work? So, I've got that one. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to duplicate it and then there's one inside the other and I'm going to make this one holding this one 60 by 20. So I'm going to make it walls to each side. So let's take away four. That is 56 that direction. And then I'm going to make this one from 20. I'm going to take two away from each side it is going to be 16. And then I'm going to keep the width. The height the same because I want it to come out the top. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to align these both. So I'm going to align them, select them both, align in the middle of this direction and in the middle of this direction. And then I've got these walls coming around on both sides. So let's make this middle one a hole and let's remove it by selecting them both and grouping. 
Once I grouped, I've got this hole out of this section. Okay, once I've got that hole, then I want to try and create this profile. What I'm talking about this profile is it's kind of straight up and then it curves around. So let's have a look at what that's gonna look like. Well, I'm gonna start with a box. I'm just gonna create a box that goes all the way through, out of both sides. There we go. And just comes up to where I roughly think it should be. So if it's 100, I'm gonna say at about 60, it starts to curve because it goes straight up, maybe even less. Let's bring it down, let's do halfway. So let's say 50. So 50, it's gonna start curving. So, all right, next I'm going to grab, once I've got a box in the right place, I'm going to grab a rounded roof. And I'm gonna extend it nice and long. So it's going to sit through both sides of this main section. And then I need to align it with this box. So I'm going to click on both of them, select them both by holding shift and selecting both of them. And I'm gonna align them to the left. There we go. And I need to know how that box is 50 high. So I'm gonna move this roof up to 50. Here we go. So basically it's aligned here. So now I can now start stretching and playing around with this roof to get this nice curve that we're looking for for this part of the shape. Play around the roof. I'm going to bring it up a little bit more to get it even skinnier at the top. I think it's going to be right. So I want it just taken out right to the thing because if you look at this, it really does go to a really thin plane at the top here. And I need to make sure this box is going to be cutting out all the bottom bit as well. So then I've got this box, select this box, got a hole for a box. I need to select around roof, a hole for around roof. I need to select all bits so I can either click and hold and draw a red square over both of them or I could hold shift. Then let's group all these together. And there you go. We've got that profile that we are looking for. Excellent. All right. Now then I need this section that comes out. So this is kind of like a wedge. So how wide is this one? This is 20 by 60. So let me grab a wedge. And let me rotate it around. So I need to rotate it. 90 so I can either click on my arrows click click on my arrow hold shift rotate around 90 and then it's 20 wide now I'm going to just make it slightly smaller to fit in that gap so if you remember it was two on each side so that's away from 20 is 16 and then I'm going to align these select select align these in the center of this direction so they are nice and fitting. I mean, I need to move this one in. Let's so hold shift, it just works on one plane. And I think it's about there that I want it because then I'm going to bring it right up. It disappears into the shape and I'm going to bring it right back. It doesn't matter, I'm just trying to get the look right at the moment. Doesn't matter if it comes out the top. Let's compare it to a picture. It goes right in, right on the top of the curve. So let's bring it right up to top of the curve. About there, yeah. Now let's check this thing. It's gone 15, so let's turn that back to 16. Let's make sure they are both aligned again. They are. Then I've just got to get rid of this bit that's sticking out the top. So I can just grab a box, a whole box, make it nice and big, bring it up. Move it across. It's going to take out that bit and all the way up. So it just, it's going to chop off that bit that's sticking over my. Put it down. And if it's matter a bit. All right. Let's select both, hold shift, click on both, let's group them together, and it's just going to cut off that top bit. All right, and I need a really thin bit, so I'm going to duplicate my floor plan again. I'm going to group these two bits together so they work together. And then I'm going to pull this one out. I'm going to bring this right down so it's really thin, literally one. I'm going to put this one on top to create my landing pad. So let's bring, how high is this? This is 100 still, so I need to bring it up 100. Just click on it, 100. And then let's select all of these. 
and a line in the middle and a line this way as well this time so it just fits on top here we go and we've got our cap that is looking rather good so what's next we need to create next section so it's like their viewing platform so that's basically same again but basic with this bit cut off so how are we going to do that well, again we're going to take the floor plan duplicate it it's now 101 high so let's bring it up 101 101 need to align them again so it's best easy to just group these together bring them all together align in the middle again align in the middle again and I've got this bit sitting on top so how do I want it well it's kind of cut off at an angle this one so this one it looks the right height I'm happy with it being 17 let's actually call it 19 and then it makes everything nice and round again because 19 plus 1 so let's me get another box make it nice and big bring it up put it over the top of what I want to cut off so I'm going to cut off that bit aren't I but I also want to cut off an angle so I'm going to twist this box slightly it's nicely angled something like that I mean I can play around with it using the arrow keys and I'm happy with it. just selecting the top bit and a box I'm going to group them together there we go and I've got a next section cut off and all I need to finish off my model is this top bit that is hollowed out if I remember correctly it cuts in the top so one more time that section we're now all these bits are 120 high so let's bring up this final section don't need to duplicate it because it's going to be my last bit I'm going to use 120 going to select these I'm going to group them together again let's keep it all grouped because then I can easily align them select align align in the middle there we go and then I want to be able to create this hollow shape so I'm going to take one on top duplicate it and then what was the size I was going to bring it down to 16 wasn't I so it is 16 so I've got angles on each side so I've got one inside the other one 16 one's going to become a hole so then I'm going to select them both make sure I'm selecting the right ones I'm going to align them make sure we're in the middle I'm going to get my hole I'm going to bring it out I've got both bits make sure they are both selected group them together and it's going to cut a hole out now I just need to do another cut I'm going to get this sway in so how am I going to get this sway in so it's just kind of a nice curved it's like a upside down rounded roof so I was using a rounded roof let me get a rounded roof let me spin it around so it's make it nice and easy to mess manipulate grab these arrows hold shift and then I can rotate it over I can bring it all the way up so it's sitting on top bring it across use my arrow keys looking at it from lots of different angles and I need to bring it down don't I so I need to grab a middle of it and bring it down to kind of fit that sway in there we go how far does it go it goes oh it goes quite down quite rapidly so let's even bigger and bring it even down even sharper now it doesn't matter if it goes into the other box because I haven't grouped them at the moment but that's what I am looking for so when I make this a hole that is what I'm looking to cut off so I'm not going to cut this bit off because I'm not going to select that so I'm just going to select this part and this part and then when I group these two parts together it cuts it and creates this Avengers building that is looking pretty good yes it's red but I can play around with that afterwards so there is the basics of the Avenger building the only final thing I'm missing is I definitely want an A on the side so everyone knows I've done an Avengers building so let's look down on the basic shapes let's grab a tube 
make it nice and thin. It starts with 10. Let's make it right down to 4. And then I need to grab some text. I just want a A. Nice capital A. And I'll have it, sorry, I'll have it sans. Because that kind of gives the end A. Bring them two together. Align again. Use the line a lot in this one. Align, align. There we go. Don't want my A to be that big. So I want it to be, if it's five, I just want it to stick out a little bit. So if, if my tube is four, I just want it to stick out a little bit. So it's five. Looking good. Let's grab them. Let's get these colors right. So it's a blue A and a gray circle. So let's get a gray circle. Gray circle and a blue A. There we go. Blue A. Excellent. Let's grab both of them. If I group them, remember it will turn them both to the same color, but I can click on this multicolor option and it'll turn them back. I also want to rotate it round. And I want to bring it up and stick it on the side of my building. Where's it going to go? So, a little bit of manipulating. Is it too big? If it's too big, I can hold shift. Till it is right. And then use my arrow keys. So get it roughly in the right place. Where does it sit? Does it sit above the helipad? Yeah, right above the helipad. And right in that part. So let's get that aligned. Let's bring that up. Here we go. Well, looking good. So what else can I do? Well, these are glass bits. So these are light blue and glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to ungroup them all. Don't worry, it's all going to go to different parts. So then I can ungroup again. Ungroup again. I've got back just to here. So now this part I want to be kind of grey. So let's have a nice light grey in there. This part I want to be a nice light blue. This part I want to be a nice light blue. And maybe even transparent. Hmm, transparent doesn't seem to work. Maybe light blue. This is going to be a light blue. Same light blue. Might make this bit transparent because it's kind of glassy on top. It's even more glassy, so it's even see through on top. So I'm going to hit transparent. Oh, that's trippy. And then obviously want my helipad to be the same color. And my top bit is the same color as well. There we go. That's pretty cool. Let's group all them together. Select them all. Let's group. And then there we go. And we've got multicolored Avengers building. Let's put this on top of my plinth, my bottom section of the Avengers building, bring it all into the center. So that is the basics of building the Avengers building. You might want to play around with a few little techniques, but that should give you the basic idea. I am very happy with that. And hopefully the Avengers are as well. Good luck, tinkerers.